Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about something different. Developing Flutter app, I find myself doing certain tasks repeatedly. Last time I was adding Firebase authentications to many of my projects again and again. I thought I should automate this. I have made a script. It sets up Firebase authentication. It sets up everything required to implement the Firebase auth along with Google sign in. I'm going to demonstrate that script. Firstly, let us create a new Flutter project. So let me name it automation test. Now that is done, let me open it in Visual Studio Code and let's run this. So you can see this is the boilerplate Flutter app from Flutter team. In order to demonstrate what the script exactly changes, let me just add this to git and comment this. Okay, so in this app from terminal, let me get into this folder. Okay, so in this app, I would like to run my automation script for adding Firebase authentication. All right. So I have that. It's better to run with Python 3. I have that automation scripts in automation folder. So if I run this script, okay. So what it does is it adds Firebase auth, Google sign in and provider package. I'm using provider package for man state management. It upgrades to Android X also adds Google services and copies the stock files that log in and everything that I have provided. So let's see what changes it has made. In pubspec.ml, it has added Firebase auth, Google sign in and provider package. In build.gradle, it had added class path for Google services, right? In gradle.properties, you have, it has added use Android X and enable Zedifier for upgrading to Android X. Then in build.gradle it has upgraded to Android X and also applied Google services plugin. Then it has copied bunch of stock files here like stock repository that uses uh, change notifier and keeps the authentication state, a home page, login page, splash screen and simple uh, user info page after being logged in. So only thing needs, uh, we need to do two things. First in main.dart, instead of existing my home page in home, just use the home page provided by my script. So this home page, it's inside the UI pages home.dart. And right now I'm getting this uh, missing plugin exception this is because I have not rebuilt after adding Firebase authentication so let me just stop this and finally one more thing that we need to do is we need to add Google services.json inside Android app so you need to add the Google services.json you download it for your app inside this so let me just pause this video download the Google services.json and add it here you can now see that I have added Google services Translation for my app here. So let's run this project once again. Okay. Once the, once you run the project successfully, you get a sign in screen. Okay. You might get a splash screen for a few milliseconds and you get a sign in screen. There are two possible options. You can either sign in with email and password or you can sign in with Google. So let me try sign in with Google uh, email and password. 
I have already created this user in the Firebase authentication. So let's just sign in. Okay, so user successfully signs in and we see a demo user info page where it shows the uh, email address of the user. So this is what the script does. It sets up uh, required plugins. It sets up boilerplate codes. Uh, you can even change the boilerplate code. I'll show you how the script works uh, in just a bit. It also upgrades the app to Android X because uh, latest Firebase authentication, Firestore plugins doesn't work without Android X. Okay, so let us now look at the scripts and how it works. Let me just close this and let me open the script in my VS Code. This is my scripts repository. All of these codes are available in my GitHub repo, the link to which will be shared in the description below. There are a bunch of other scripts except the script I mentioned in the video. You can check it out. So let's check the Firebase Auth script that I mentioned in the video. So this is the script. What it does is it manipulates the files adds the required plugin and in order to make this work you need to download the whole repository or you can download just this flutter scripts folder and you need to make some modifications so dot env file this is not committed to github repository you need this to add the plugin versions so i have made a sample file where the latest plugin versions are kept here so you can just copy this .env sample file and change it to .env after that you can just run this and it works like a charm as mentioned previously in the video you can change the boilerplate codes that are copied by this script. So the boilerplate code is available here inside lib folder and in model there is user repository and inside UI there is home page, login page, splash screen, user info. So you can update any of these files because this is the file the script copies to your Flutter app to make the Firebase authentication work. Thank you for watching this video. If you guys have made similar scripts to help you in your programming or development task, do share in the comments. I would love to hear about those. And also, like and subscribe, share if you like my video. Thank you.